Hey guys, welcome back to another can review. Andy and Sandra back again. Today we are taking a look at the Triple Crossing Sightlines. Here's what the can looks like. It's a uh, West Coast IPA, 6%. I don't think it has any IBUs on it. No, Who nothing knows? here. Hmm. Okay. Alright, you can just check it out on Untapped. They might not even know. Well, people are pretty good about... Well, it depends, actually. I checked this... I checked this beer out on Untapped, and somebody said that it tasted that they thought it tasted like meat. <laughs> meat? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't smell like meat. It smells like citrus. I can see that if it's a smoked beer. That's why I don't like the smoked beers because to me they taste like jerky. Like a campfire and jerky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tastes I, like a hot dog. Yeah. Ugh. Nobody likes hot dog beer. No. Nope. All right. So yeah, it looks pretty golden in color. It's got this nice. So what is this? Slight haze to it. It's a West Coast IPA. You can see a little bit of uh, floaties in there. Yeah. Some yeasties. Maybe that's citrus. Maybe that's yeasties. But that's that's uh, just nutritional little things as far as I'm concerned. Beer has a lot of vitamin B yes. in it. All and right. it's a 6% beer. Yeah. So I'm expecting super, super juice haze. As usual from Triple Crossing. Well, cheers. Cheers. Down the hatch. Yeah, that's good. Yep. That's pretty typical of this particular brewery. So it's um it's kind of a juice bomb. Yeah, but I feel like it might be missing a bit of body to it. And I think it's because it is a bit on the light side, so it, it is 6%, maybe they had to substitute something out of it. To I don't know, I think, I think for what it is, For what it fine. is, it's, it's good for what it is. It's got a really uh, distinct kind of hoppy character to it. I'm, I'm not tasting meat, if that's your question. I'm tasting a lot of citrus notes, a lot of uh, kind of floraliness to it. It definitely has that bite to it. That I was expecting. Yeah, and now that you mention it, I think what you're talking about is a traditional hops that normally the West Coast breweries use a lot. Like Stone uses a lot of that super bitter hop. I'm not sure exactly which hop it is, but I, don't know. Um, I think they probably use some of those hops in here to keep it within the West Coast theme. Because that's yeah. what it kind of tastes like tangerines to me. It's it's pretty bitter on the on the back end of things. It's like a clean bitterness, though. Yeah. yeah. Super bitter up front, but then it cleans up super quick. It's good. I like this one. Yeah. What would you give this one out of uh, five? Five hops. Three and a half. Okay. I'll go four with it. I really like it. It's a good slower IPA. Yeah. Something to crush, you know, when you're, when you're not feeling like the super big boozy IPAs that everybody seems like they're putting out these days. So... Yeah, nice change of pace. And there's tons of like hoppiness and complexity to that beer that it doesn't feel like you're missing out just because you're doing it. Yeah, it definitely satisfies me. Six percent. Definitely tastes like like an IPA should. It has enough body to it, enough hop character to it that yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get you where you need to be for sure. Well, that does it for us. A big shout out goes out to Yeti for sending us this cool bottle opener we'll put a link down below where you can score some of these things it looks super robust it's definitely like super solid i don't know if you're supposed to attach this to your uh to your yeti cooler or something like that yes but uh i'm not sure how this how you how you do it there's a hole here i don't know we'll put a link down below where you can get these things look pretty cool we're not going to use it today because obviously we have a can but next time all right well that does it for another can review thanks for tuning in hit that like button and subscribe once we hit 100 subscribers we're going to do a little giveaway with some stickers maybe a hat some glassware maybe don't forget to like comment subscribe and until next time stay crafty cheers Although, uh, Fred Durst juice. likes the hot dog flavored water, so who's to say? Uh. That's how the algorithm works. That's YouTube, okay. baby. The bell. Damn you, bell. So hit that like. <laughs> so hit that subscribe.
Oh my god. What's that? <laughs> Her face. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like she knew she just did something. She's like, oh. <laughs>